What's up Epic Gardeners, Kevin here, talking today about maggots in your compost. Now this is kind of gross, honestly, and uh, something that you might, you might have a composter. Right here I have the Yimby Tumbler, which I think Yimby stands for yes in my backyard, I'm not sure. But regardless, this is like 90 bucks on Amazon, really good deal, and it's been really solid for me. Um, it's a two chamber, but something I've been running into uh, and I was wondering about it was maggots. I had like maggots in my compost and I thought, oh, that's so gross. Like you just have that visceral reaction to maggots, right? And I'm not sure if there are any on the top. Probably not because I think I've not necessarily solved the problem, but just reduced them quite a bit. Um, so the causes for maggots in your compost, number one, what are they? So they're the black soldier fly larva. And if you don't know what a black soldier fly is, it's basically a normal fly. It's just a normal house fly type thing for the most part. Um, and the larva are huge, like far bigger than the fly is. So uh, they're, they're sort of white, grayish, they can be brownish. It kind of depends on what you uh, are putting in your compost. And if a fly flies in there and lands and actually lays its eggs, then you get these big grubs. And you might think, oh, those are so gross, they're so nasty. But it turns out that they actually compost or they break down um, organic matter, especially dead food. So, um, you know, all your food scraps that are long dead really, really fast, like really fast. Um, like you'll put stuff in and, and you'll think it's full. And then this whole thing, like I might fill it up and it's up to here and then it's all gone um, in like a day or two. It's just not necessarily gone, but it's been processed, right? Which is a great benefit actually. Um, actually, you can see one right there. There it is. I'll zoom in. See that guy? Gross, I know it's gross, but these guys make short work. And so I, I've done some research you shouldn't remove all of them, although you can if you want to, um, but just providing a moist and warm environment will keep them around, right? And if you really don't want them, what you can do is put mesh over all the holes, right? So if a fly can fly through, uh, then it's able to land and, and uh, lay its eggs. And if you don't want it to do that, obviously you can throw some mesh on top. Other ways to get rid of them, you can lime it. So if you have a ton of black soldier fly larvae in here, you can actually add lime to this and it will basically kill them all. You can add a lot more browns. So if you wanna make sure that you kinda of don't have them at all, take away the things that they like, which are organic matter, greens, and, um, and moisture. So if you toss in like a bunch of dead leaves and sawdust and shredded paper, that's gonna dry it out and add material that they don't eat. So that's another tip. Um, there are a couple other tips, but for the most part, I just wanted to film this video really, really quick to go over it. And let's see if we can find our, our friend again. Ah, he, he must have dug down. But honestly, I feel like it's not a huge deal to have a few of those in there. Uh, you just don't kind of want it to be so many that indicate a bigger problem with your compost. Basically that you're just only putting in food waste and you're allowing them to proliferate around the garden. Uh, sorry, no, around the compost. So. That's a quick video for you guys. Black soldier fly larva, maggots in your compost. Uh, end, end result, not a really bad thing unless you have a ton of them. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more and leave some notes in the comments if you wanna see some more videos like this. I'm trying to do some uh, shorter clips that are just solving little quick problems in the garden. So keep gardening guys and I will see you later.